Digital Paintball. I'm going to do a quick overview of the S Thunder uh, water and powder dual airsoft landmine. Uh, also, of course, use for paintball if you want. So uh, let's go check it out. So in the box, you've got the mine. You've got some directions. Also, the carrying case. They've included a carabiner on it. So you can clip that right onto your um, gear bag or something. You're looking at around five inches in width or so. One key thing the scenario players are going to want to know is how much does this weigh. Um, so let's put that on there. Of course, this doesn't have the water or the powder in it. And we've got 12 ounce. So on this mine, uh, you can use powder or water. As soon as someone steps on it, boom, it goes off. So let's just take this rod real quick. This top part on the screws. You've got your safety pins here. Those can remove. And what we'll see here is the core with the ram in it, CO2 ram. Flip this over where you charge your um, device with CO2 here. And what happens is if the safety pins are not in, then when somebody steps on this device, you can see the spring in there, it pushes down, and it pushes down right into this plastic piece which is sticking up from the bottom of the well here. When it hits that plastic piece, it's gonna press that button, and it's going to release the ram. One quick tip on this mine is uh, make sure you put the safety pins in before putting it into the well. You can see there's only a couple spots where these pins fit, so you put those on on either side, and then you would line it up with the actual well that it sits in, okay? Rather than trying to put them in after the fact and line up the holes exactly, that would just take a long time. So there's a little tip for you. Okay, we've done two overviews now of uh, different S Thunder landmine products. These two are really in the same category because they're rechargeable um, CO2 units with the same basic technology in them. Um, the operation, the only variance is that one's a step and release, the other one's just a step and it, and it explodes. So what do I think? Well, I think if you're a scenario player, these two are probably your most likely choices from S Thunder out of all their landmine products uh, to carry along with you, the, the lightest. Um, they are rechargeable, reusable, um, with a cylinder that you could carry along with you. They do come with a carrying case, so that's effective. I, of the two, I, you know, I really wouldn't recommend the step one at all uh, in terms of your money. It's just more limited in its in its uh, function. Uh, the step and release is really the one. If I was going to buy one myself, I would probably get that because you could use it for booby traps for scenarios. Both of them still, I'm on the fence. I don't know if uh, mines are really a player kind of item. Um, so I'm going to be using these at our club and I'll get, you know, get back to you on that. But right now I'm thinking um, mines might be more of a field owner item to really uh, field owner or scenario event uh, organizer to, to, to add more realism, to um, add more uh, fun to the event. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure that as an individual play, uh, player, um, especially if I'm in a serious game um, or a really uh, serious kind of uh, player uh, that I'd be carrying any of this stuff with me. I just think it would be extra crap, extra weight to carry along with you um, in that kind of game where you're more professional woods baller, not thinking uh, you're going to want to have any of that with you um, for the effectiveness of it. I mean, you're going to bring it with you, set it out there, maybe somebody steps on it. <laughs> Then you got to go find it again, pick it up. I but mean, as just a kind of local club or field owner kind of thing, uh, these products um, definitely have some great potential to make the game a lot more fun, a lot more realistic in certain ways, um, and, and make people more careful and aware of where they are in the woods, uh, and uh, keep them cautious. Because you know, a lot of our fields they get kind of sloppy, people laid back, out of range, talking to each other because they know they can't be hit by a paintball. Well, they'll have to wash their toes with these. So that's another element to the game that I think is a lot of fun um, when used appropriately. 
but could see how others um, might not see it as a good investment. So that's what uh, my two cents are on these two products. And uh, welcome your comments, feedback. Let's try to make these, uh, these better for you. I uh, hope these were helpful. Take care. Bye-bye.